A goal and an assist in my last game wasn't enough for Luis Enrique to put me in the team for this game against CSKA Moscow away in Russia for our final Champions League game. But in a way, I didn't really mind, to be honest. Yes, I'm still yet to play a minute of European football for Barcelona, but we're already going through to knockout stages of the Champions League. The team got a point, and that is enough to secure a top spot in the group as well. So didn't mind missing that game because I was now fit for this one against Levante away from home back in La Liga. In my last game, I grabbed a goal and an assist in a 2-1 victory victory against Sociedad. Really feeling it right now with Barcelona and the early injury I got is not hampering my performances whenever I'm on the pitch. We take on Levante for the first game of today's episode. Looking for another win with Barcelona. Alright, so free kick to Barcelona and Luis Suarez is going to stand over it. Don't think he'll go for goal from this tight angle. I'm in the area, so is De La Feo and Neymar. And Suarez is going to chip it inside towards De La Feo, headed away. Still a good chance it will drop to Jordi Alba. He's going to give it to me. I'm going to try and get myself inside here. And that's got to be a penalty right there. Definite penalty and a great chance from the spot to make it 1-0. So as soon as I got the ball from Alba, like my intention was to go to the byline and try and drill in across because it's just, it's it's what I do really. I guess it's sort of my, uh, my patented move in this player career mode. But either way, definite penalty there. Ivan lunges in and I just, I, I mean, sometimes like the penalties are a bit soft, but I don't really think you can complain about that one. So penalty to Barcelona, I've won it for the team. It does mean I won't get credited with any kind of assist for it, but either way, if Luis Suarez scores it, sacrifices individual stats, I don't mind. I just want to see us get the goal and uh, take the lead in this game. So it's going to be Suarez against the goalkeeper whose name I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce. Can Luis Suarez score? You better believe he can. Suarez smashes it in and it's Levante nil, Barcelona one. So perfect start to the game. Honestly, not too many chances up until this point. Really not much to report, but Suarez giving us the lead through the spot kick, which I won, putting it past the goalkeeper despite him diving the right way and making it Levante nil, Barcelona won. Perfect start. The Uruguayan gives us the lead. Rafael Martins turns and finds his mate who plays it through towards Victor. Inside towards Morales. Good save by Claudio Bravo and hooked away by Sergio Roberto. Levante deserved to score for that stupid pun alone, but gladly Bravo makes the save. And the throw in is going to go straight to De La Feo. And now he could be away here as you find Suarez. And I'm in support here. I've got Neymar out wide. Keep on running, mate. Going to come to you. This is a great chance here. Neymar, turn the afterburners on, mate. Come on, you've got more pace than that. Still Neymar. Inside towards myself. And I'm going to bang it in and make it Levante nil. Barcelona 2. And pick up another goal for the club. So delighted with that. I won us the penalty for the first goal. And now I've got a goal as well. Nice little hold up from Neymar there. I wanted him to go through himself and go for goal. But instead holds it up. Gives it to me as I'm making the four run, picks me out, and I thought that was a pretty good finish with a weaker left foot as well. Smacking the ball past the goalkeeper into the back of the net and making it Levante nil, Barcelona 2. Not really too much to report in this first half, despite there being two goals. Regardless, we had that two-goal cushion going into the break, and I'm glad I got involved for both of the goals. Neymar forced back to Alba. Still a chance here. Patient build-up from Barcelona. Alba tries to cross. Blocked by Ivan and cleared. But I could win this ball here, and I have. But it's going to come towards Rafael Martins. Back out wide towards Ruben Garcia. And now inside towards his mate. And I'm going to keep on using that pun for the rest of the game as we win it back again. Because the last time we used that pun, we won the ball back eventually and grabbed ourselves a goal. So let's do it again, shall we? Suarez threw to me down the right-hand side. Really good chance here. He's going to try and uh, verbal spin round the man. Surely we're not, we're not going to do it again, are we? Oh, you better believe we are. And the man dramatic scores and makes it Levante nil, Barcelona free. It's that pun. That's what I've got to keep on doing, making those stupid puns that everyone hates. Drilling in that cross, picking out Matic. Another assist for me notched up. It's Levante. Levante nil, Barcelona free. Everyone must be getting sick of these puns, but I'm loving them because we're 3-0 up. Barcelona extending the lead, and this game is surely ours now with over for, uh, just under 40 minutes to play. His Jop through towards Ruben Garcia, and it will chip in across to the centre, and the header is won, and Bravo makes a great save and turns it behind for a corner. So game not exactly over yet as Levante go in search for a route back into the game. Morales with the corner and it goes to the center and it's headed down and it's going to come to victory shoots and Jordi Alba gets the wall off the line and Levante not giving up you know maybe three goals down to Barcelona but not giving up and good for them let's play that through there if I can towards my teammate in uh, Lionel Messi off the bench Messi back to me great chance here shot is well saved by the goalkeeper is Iniesta through towards Messi uh, Messi on the ball finds Neymar and I'll take it and try and play it through towards Messi who shoots. Oh, goalkeeper spills it, but Levante clear. 
Can Levante grab a consolation goal here in stoppage time? Barral through towards Sissoko. They got man over here and Ruben Garcia inside towards Roger who shoots and Bravo makes the save and it's hooked away. And now back towards the fullback, inside towards Morales. Good chance here, crosses block, Joop strikes it, or Joop strikes it just over the bar and behind for a goal kick. And there is the final whistle. So Levante nil, Barcelona three. Another win notched up for the boys. And I thought that was a really good solo performance as well. I've had a really good start to my Barcelona career despite the two-month injury. I've been averaging at least one goal or one assist per game. Uh, or I should say one direct contribution to a goal per game and in this game I contributed to all three even though the penalty I won't get credit with any kind of assist or anything I did win the penalty for the first goal and then I grabbed a goal myself and then I got an assist for our third goal so as you can see I got a 9.6 I won the ball back so many times in that game quite surprised about that as I never really do that too many times but made three interceptions and I, I thought that was a really good game yes I misplaced two passes but I thought I had a really really solid game and probably my best in a Barcelona shirt so far. Levante didn't actually play too badly. Late on in the game, they started to get back into it, but either way, I thought we were the better team, had more possession, and were a lot more clinical in front of goal as well. So delighted to notch up another win with the boys. Right now, my assist or goal uh, per game ratio, like uh, direct contributions, if you will, is 12 and 11. That's, that's really, really good. So unsurprisingly, Luis Enrique is giving me a lot of plaudits in the uh, news conferences. So very, very happy with that, and uh, another good performance. And hopefully I can follow up with another one in just a moment's time. Grabbing a goal, picking up an assist and winning a penalty for the first goal as well. Right now I'm a failing objectives, but I really don't care because I'm helping the team pick up the points. And right now my performances are absolutely fantastic. I mean, seriously, that two-month injury was very frustrating, but I have bounced back and then some. And I'm really feeling at home here at Barcelona in my third season. That's also my second goal in two games as well. I'm not usually a consistent scorer, but if I can add that to my game, I'll definitely be one of the most skilled midfielders in the world that can do it on both ends of the pitch. Still, we take on Rio Villacano for the second and final game of today's episode here as La Liga's bottom play side come and take us on at the new camp. Looking to extend the winning streak, get ourselves another three points with Barcelona and of course make sure we keep on putting the pressure on Real Madrid as they are still top of the table. Oh, 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 Suarez wins it back. Great chance here. Delefeu plays me through. Really good chance here for 1-0, surely. Oh, what a great save by the goalkeeper. Crossed in towards Suarez and he puts it over the bar and behind for a goal kick. What a great chance. He won it back. I should have scored. And after scoring in the last game, my confidence was there, but the finish wasn't still goalless. Alba, and I've just been pushed to the ground. And uh, Roberto on the ball, plays inside towards Montoya. And Montoya towards Sergio Roberto, who shoots. Great save by the goalkeeper. Matic and myself in support. That was perfectly timed there, calling for that pass. And I'll try and play that wide towards Jordi Alba. He's got space here and Neymar in support. Neymar back towards myself. And I can see a man inside in the manager. Matic surely for 1-0. And again, the goalkeeper making another great save. And eventually, Rayo Vallecano clear. What a brilliant performance early on from this goalkeeper. And it's still goalless. That's my ball right there. There we go. Just winning that back so easily as he misplaced his first touch. And now I'm down the right-hand side and Boehner is not going to catch up. This is a great chance and we cannot mess this up. We cannot mess this up. We cannot mess this up. We're not going to mess it up. Luis Suarez gets the goal. Barcelona 1, Rayo Vallecano 0. And another assist for yours truly as I am just racking them up here in my Barcelona career in the first season. Another assist for me. I just I could not afford to mess that up because the goalkeeper has been an inspired form. And I just, you know, I could have shot from the tight angle, but I thought, no way. I can see Suarez at the far post, peels off his last man, and he's not going to miss that tap in. Barcelona 1, Rey of Lecano 0, finally. Corner to Barcelona, Matic to take, and it goes. It's going to come to me. Why not go for an ambitious scissor kick, which has to be tipped over the bar by the goalkeeper. It wasn't really a scissor kick, more of a sort of twist 180 and uh, try and go for goal. If that went in, that would have been the best goal I'll ever score in FIFA. The goalkeeper had to scramble backwards and tip it over the bar. I think it was a routine save, really, more for the cameras, but even so, still 1-0. So just under 10 minutes to go. We're still leading by a goal to nil. I can't see Rio Vallecano grabbing an equaliser because they've done virtually nothing all game. But either way, it's one of those games where you don't punish the opposition despite dominating in the chances you've had. 
and there's always that chance they could come back and haunt you later on. So got to be composed at the back here, not make any silly errors and give away our win. And that shot could go in and it has. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a goal. What a goal, what a goal. And Rayo Velicano are back on level terms. That was just incredible. I mean, talk about timing for what I was just saying there. But either way, what a goal. What a superb goal. That is that is one of the that, that's one of the best goals I've seen in FIFA. How did he do that? That must have taken a deflection. How did he do that? That was just incredible. I think it might have taken the slightest nick off of Marlon. But either way, that is just incredible. Oh my goodness. What an equalising goal. And that is that is the first shot Valicano have had in the entire game. And do you know what? If, if that gives them a point, then fair enough. You take it. You take that point and you go home and you celebrate that point because that was incredible. What a goal by the AI. That was superb. Well done. That, I mean, that was genuinely amazing. I mean, shock at how good that goal was. What a strike. 1-1. One, one. And there is the full-time whistle. Barcelona 1, Vallecano 1. We slip up in this game. If we won it, we would have gone level on points with Real Madrid as we would have ended the first half of the season officially with 19 games played. But sadly, we do lose our lead in the last 10 minutes or last 6 minutes really through Sabal scoring one of the best goals I've, I've genuinely ever seen especially in this year's FIFA that was incredible what a goal that was the way he spanned from that tight angle and somehow looped over I mean that was incredible that was genuinely just incredible and the type of goal I want to see again and again either way just like in the first game in today's episode I thought I played really really well a 9.4 rating got an assist for our goal and I mean you know look at those stats that was the only shot Velikano had and it didn't even register as a shot but uh, either way we should have won that game there's no doubt about that I did say as uh, the build-up to the goal was uh, was scored. I did say those are the games where you just feel, you just feel like the opposition could nick it if they get a stroke of fortune or a score a wonder goal, and it turned out to be the latter. So well done to them. What a wonderful goal that was. Uh, either way, one one draw. It is a slip up, so we're still disappointed about it. We'll have to do better in the next game. But either way, I guess after 19 games, it's not too disappointed to know we are just two points behind Real Madrid and. Um, I'm sure in the second half of the season, with me fully fixed, I've been out injured for two months, we'll be doing, hopefully, a bit better. But uh, that is any episode, guys. So, as always, a big thank you for watching the video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode of My Player, then please do leave a like. It's much appreciated, and it really does help my channel out. And I'll see you for the next episode of My Player very soon.